Today we're going to talk about Minkowski. This is a really cool function. So what you can do is combine two objects and it really makes it nice. So let's try it out. So we're going to type Minkowski. Open and close paren. Open and close curly bracket. We're going to put a cube inside. Open and close paren. Open and close square bracket. We're going to say it's a 10 by 20 by 2. End it with the semicolon. And then we're going to try, let's see, a cylinder. And we'll say the diameter we'll say is two. The height is two. And then number of facets for now, we'll leave that blank. And then what we'll do is we'll end it with the semicolon and render it. So what we have here is a rounded rectangle. So if you look really close at the rectangle by zooming in here, you can see that it's got really rough edges. So to smooth those out, what we'll do is we'll say comma, dollar sign, fn equals 60. And then we'll re-render. So now we've rounded the corners and that makes it look a lot better. But let's, uh, try something out here because right now we said it's only too high and right now it looks like it's almost four high. So what is going on here that's causing it to get higher? So let's do three and see if uh, it's still not four like it is now. So it looks like it's almost five now. So what is occurring? Well, it looks like when you combine the two objects, you get a little bit more height than you want. And it also looks like you get a little bit more width and length. So keep that in mind when you work with it. And it should be pretty simple, but I mean, there are things you can do to actually mitigate it. You could probably do a difference. Open and close paren around it. Then take another Minkowski. Copy it. Paste it. Then put a translate over it with an open and close square bracket. And we'll say that it's 0, 0, 0 and let's say we want to make it three like we thought it would be then put parens or excuse me curly brackets around it and then indent it so let's see what happens okay now it looks like it's closer to three So if you like my video, please press the like button and subscribe and thank you for your time.